This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. They make titanium pocket tools and pins, like the Bit Bar, which is a screwdriver with a pocket clip and bit storage in the handle, and the TPT and the TPT slide, which hold a standard utility knife blade. They also recently launched a titanium EDC wrench and offer pins like the TI Click, TI Arto EDC, and the TI Pocket Pro. To learn more about Big Idea Design, click the links in the description, and you can also use the coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50. And if you do, it'll help support the show. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. If you are new here, I always start the show since this is a community show. I start the show with some community announcements. And first up, last week I announced that I was going to be giving away a Copper Olight i3 TEOS. All you had to do was comment down below something funny, something creative, anything that I felt was extra creative or made me laugh was the winner. And uh, there were so many great responses, almost 500 comments. There were so many great responses that I decided I'm actually going to do another video reading some of the best responses. So what people would do for a copper Olay i 3 TUS. You guys put in some work on some of these comments and uh, I, I, wanna, I wanna show some appreciation for those. So I will choose a winner probably early next week. Second, I did the 15,000 follower Instagram only giveaway. I chose a winner yesterday, it was Adrian Garduno. I planned for that giveaway to take several weeks. It took about a week or less. I was expecting it to be closer to like a month. Um, but you guys blew it out of the park. We hit 15,000. And in that giveaway, there were three different key smarts up for grabs. Adrian had a choice. He chose the key smart rugged. They were all mossy oak, which is key smarts newest line. Um, but they gave me three and he chose the rugged. So I'm going to give away the pro this week. So this is the key smart pro in mossy oak. You can see the mossy oak logo right there. Unfortunately, this is not a windowed package, so I can't show you without opening it. That is up for grabs. So if you want to know how to win a KeySmart Pro in Mossy Oak, uh, just watch the video. Because as always, I will just drop how to enter the giveaway just randomly throughout the video. Next order of business, I just uploaded a video two days ago that was about keychain flashlights. I spent a lot of time working on that video. I hope you go watch it and enjoy it. If you do, please just let me know what you thought about it down below. I, I would like to know what you guys think about these roundups. I wanna do more of them, but they are massive. They take a lot of time to edit, to put together, to get all the products. And, and I don't wanna just blow through stuff and just throw something together. I wanna to do it right. And uh, that, that requires time and a lot of effort, but I do enjoy making them. So I think it turned out pretty good. It's very long. Sorry, not sorry. This week is the Discord only EDC Weekly. That means that only people who are in the Discord and submitted both to the website and in the Discord, those are the people that are in this show. There were a lot of really great submissions there, a lot of new people, which is the, the whole point, because I think a lot of you guys don't know that I have a Discord, or if you do, you don't really know what Discord is, but Discord is a chat room where we all go there and talk throughout the week about knives, wallets, watches, and a ton of off-topic stuff. Coffee, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, we talk about a bunch of different things. It's a great, great community. And that's the whole point of this show. It's a community show. And I think Discord is very closely related to that. And if you haven't checked out the Discord, just, just download the app. The link to join is down below. It's a really great place. And I'm in there talking every day to everyone in there. I'm, I'm always in Discord. So if you want to talk with me and ask me questions directly, just join the Discord. So with that said, the five submissions this week are all from Discord members, some of them new, some of them that have been in there for a very long time. And let's do the thing. Some of you guys commented last week that uh, you missed the scotch or the whiskey that I drink during the show and uh, that you trust me more when I'm drinking some sort of liquor or whiskey. I hear you, I understand, but also I started shooting these videos during the day early in the morning sometimes. So, I mean, I work for myself, I could, but sometimes I just need a little coffee to pick me up. Just gotta get those bags under my eyes out of the way with a little coffee. That's not how that works, but doesn't matter. Moving on. Anyway, the first submission this week comes from Dominic Leyande. I think that's how it's pronounced. But you can find him over on the website at undeadtaco234. No Instagram account listed. First up here, we have the Pebble Steel. That is a smartwatch from your, that is a very old smartwatch and uh, one that I own personally and loved and RIP Pebble. They are now owned by Fitbit. Next to that is his wallet of choice, which is the Statgear No Fold Minimalist Wallet. He also carries a Rovivon Aurora A5 with UV as his flashlight and his knife of choice, I guess the main knife of choice here is the Benchmade Mini Grip 
556-1. Below that is also another knife that is the Kershaw Blur S30V. So maybe that could be his primary knife. Hard to say. He also carries a Leatherman style PS as a multi-tool. Below that is his lighter, which is a Zippo with a Thunderbird butane insert. Doesn't say whether it's the yellow flame or the torch or what it may be. And then beside that, to the far right of the photo, he has two Pintel pencils? I think they're both pencils. Yeah, the two, P205 and P207. Dominic says, hey Taylor, love your vids. The watch wallet, keys, bench made, and flashlight go with me everywhere while the other items live in a backpack. Okay, so the Kershaw blur and the pencils are in the backpack. Despite it being six years old, I haven't been able to replace my Pebble as I miss important notifications while walking around on campus with my phone on vibrate. The Benchmade and Kershaw are new additions and I'm glad to be carrying quality blades as opposed to the Walmart or Academy knives I've carried in the past. I find myself carrying no more than four cards and no cash in my wallet, so the thinner the wallet, the better in my opinion. The SG wallet happens to fit the theme very well. The mechanical pencils are a must have as a student and I believe the P205 and P207 are the best out there. A Zippo makes for an entertaining fidget toy, but mainly use mine for heat shrink tubing. It has a Thunderbird butane insert so that my jet lighter can have a jet flame. Well, there you go. It is the torch. I bought the Rovivon flashlight after watching one of your videos, and to be honest, I use it way more than I thought I would. I know, right? It just happens. If you start EDCing a flashlight, you will understand why everybody else EDCs a flashlight, because it's just so useful to have something much better than your phone in your pocket. It's not a necessary thing. Most people don't need a flashlight every day, but just having one is so nice. And once you carry it for just a couple of days, you're gonna be like, oh, why haven't I been doing this in my entire life? And then you'll come here and you're gonna submit something like this. And I'm gonna say, I told you so. Also he says, not pictured is an LG V35 that I used to take the picture. I don't keep it in the case because miraculously I haven't broken a smartphone in many years. Keep the videos coming. See you in the Discord. Thank you for sharing, Dominic. This is fantastic. It's good to see somebody share stuff that they do carry with them every day, but they throw in their backpack. It's nice to have backpack submission, if you will, without dumping everything in the bag, because there are things in my bag that you don't care about me carrying every day, like 800 USB cables. I also throw other things in there, like, uh, actually I have it right here. The Maxpedition. I throw this in my backpack every day, and inside that I've just got a bunch of different things. It's not full right now, I just took some stuff out, but I've got this with me every day, and uh, that's not too, too much additional for my everyday carry, but if I dumped everything else in my bag, it'd be a long video just for one bag submission. So we'll get to that later. That's another discussion for another day. Thank you for sharing, Dominic. You now have a second entry into the February giveaway. The next submission comes from Chris Lauer. You can find him over on the website at PokerLU73, and Chris is a Patreon supporter and has been in the Discord for quite some time. I don't know how long exactly. I'm, I'm losing track of people because there were like 80 or more new people in the Discord this week alone. And uh, yeah, it's getting kind of crazy over there. First up, we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 as his phone of choice, and he carries that in a Magpul case in OD green. Next to that is his wallet, which is the Apache Pine Minimalist Wallet. And above that is his utility knife, the Outdoor Edge Slidewinder. At the very bottom of the photo is his knife. That is the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Yojimbo, I've heard it a billion different ways. And at the very top of the photo was last week's giveaway item, the Olay i3T EOS in copper. To the right of the photo is his Aspire Breeze 2. I imagine that's a vape. It sounds like a vape. And he also carries a Leatherman style CS on his keys, which he also has a black diamond carabiner and an Olight i1R EOS. He has what he says, Burt's friggin' bees for his lip balm. There you go, Burt's friggin' bees. And all Chris has to say is I carry what I need and I use it as I please. Love the show, solid platform, enjoyable and informative. The host could use some work. Thank you, poker. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I agree. <laughs> and I agree. No, this is a great submission. You've posted this picture several times in the Discord and a bunch of other stuff, um, a bunch of other pictures I should say you've, you've submitted several times. This is, I think, a pretty solid EDC. I'd be interested to see how that Apache Pine compares to the Ridge Wallet, um, both of which I've never used, actually. I created an Elephant Wallet a long time ago, which is just two pieces of MDF wrapped with elastic. Uh, and I'm, I'm not even entirely sure how the Ridge Wallet actually works or this Apache Pine. I think it's two pieces of metal, aluminum, steel, sometimes carbon fiber, and there is uh, elastic sandwich between them, like screwed in to them, I think. Am I right? I don't know. I'm kind of in the, I'm on the fence between hard wallets and soft wallets. I typically go with a soft wallet, but lately I've been using the Lever Gear money clip. 
um, the tool card pro money clip because it's just so thin it is the thinnest possible wallet other than just using a rubber band so i don't know anyway thank you for sharing chris you now have a second entry into the february giveaway unfortunately next up we have a submission from thomas you can find over on the website and in the discord as tactical train and this is a very simple edc compared to a lot of the others it's more minimal very basic and first up the watch in the top right of the photo is the citizen are you ready for this e310-s045282 watch what a sexy name how sexy is that name god watchmakers you need you need to come up with a better naming structure like it's it's so bad it's getting worse with time too you're just like oh we've used all these numbers let's add more to the end of it to the left of that is the pilot metropolitan pin and below that he has his flashlight multi-tool and knife of choice that would be the Olight S1R2 Baton, the Gerber Dime, and the Mass Drop Ferrum Forge Falcon, which is a sweet looking knife. His wallet, I am imagining, is the notebook holder as well. It is the Rob Razum wallet. And inside that, he carries the Clairefontaine 3.5 by 5.5 notebook. So I imagine that is a notebook holder and a wallet together. And not pictured here is his phone, which is the LG V40 Fin. Like I said, very simple, compact EDC. Very little to this. I wish I could get mine back down to something this size. Not back down. I've never carried anything this minimal. Anyway, Thomas says, this is my standard EDC to work. Anything else I may need or want is in my EDC bag. Citizen E310. I got this watch as a graduation present years ago. It has run flawlessly since the day I received it. It has the Citizen EcoDrive movement, which means I will never have to change the battery. Pilot Metropolitan. I have always preferred fountain pens over the traditional ballpoint, and I was very happy to get a Metropolitan in fine point for everyday writing. It is filled with Waterman Serenity Blue Ink, which is a classic everyday ink. The Gerber Dime. This little beauty resides in my coin pocket <laughs> and I used it for all sorts of tasks day to day. I picked it up about a month ago and it's one of my more used things in my EDC. I especially love the clamshell packaging tool. Yeah, that thing's really nice. And the only problem I ever have with the Gerber Dime is how flimsy the, the pliers are. I used those to pull on a nail one time and I broke them. The Oloid S1R Baton 2. I have brought this recently as a part of my bonus. I was pleasantly surprised at how thin it is. The camera does not do it justice. No, it makes it look short and fat and stubby and bulkier than it is. It is sort of bulky compared to like the, the Rovivon flashlights or the i1R, but the I, uh, S1R2 is quite, quite nice. I like the size a lot. I use the notebook for daily notes and reminders as well to track my budget. Having a notebook in my wallet helps tremendously with this. Also, Clairefontaine has amazing paper quality. There you go. I was right. I, I thought that maybe that was it when I first saw the picture because there's no wallet, but I wasn't sure. The LG V40 Thin Q. I upgraded to this for my Galaxy S8 and haven't looked back. LG has stepped up their game. I don't know, man. LG always kind of killed it with, killed it in a bad way with their interface and software. Um, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds with tech. I could go on all day because that was my background. I did tech reviews for a long, long time. As I explained to some people in the voice chat in Discord last night, you guys didn't seem to realize that I've been on YouTube for almost seven years. And most of that has been covering technology and doing tech reviews on Pocket Now, Android Authority, CNET, just all sorts of tech channels. I've, I've been around, I've been around. So tech is my background and uh, moving on. Anyway, I like this carry a lot. It's very concise. It's got the essentials, not any bigger or bulkier than it needs to be. Although your keys are obviously missing here, unless you just have like a car fob and you know, nobody cares to see that. The Ferrum Forge knife, that was one that I was eyeing for a long time. Thank you for sharing, Thomas. You have an awesome EDC and you also have a second entry into the February giveaway. Oh boy, this name is gonna be slaughtered. I'm saying it up front. I know I'm gonna slaughter it. This next submission comes from Corey Lafeve. Lafeve. Lafeve, it's spelled L-E-F-E-B-V-R-E. -E -E. Like what? You're missing vowels between the B, V, and R. Just throwing that out there. You can find him over in Discord or on Instagram as Porkrind with a Y instead of an I. First up, we have the field notes covered by Aaron Sabrant at NC Custom Leather. And inside that, he does have a field notes notebook. He also has a Dark Timber Knives poker chip. 
and a Pilot G2 pen to write in a notebook with. Next to the pen is the 10th Mountain Division Challenge coin, and below that is his watch, which is the Invicta Grand Diver. The knife that you see in the picture is the Dark Slash Knight Custom Damascus Skinner collaboration between Peter Kohler and Jason Knight. And he keeps that in an Ortiz Leatherworks Skinner sheath. Beside that, you see a Leo Titanium Breach Tool with DIY Paracord lanyard on it, as well as a Streamlight Protac 1L-1AA flashlight at the very bottom of the photo. Above that is the Zippo, which he says is just a plain Zippo that goes in the Zippo pocket. <laughs> you guys are killing me. I love it. And above that is the bamboo beard comb. The knife you see at the top right of the photo is the Ziba S5, and he has a titanium bead attached to that on a paracord lanyard. And the top left of the photo is a Spigen iPhone case of some sort. Well, he has a phone with a Spigen case. I don't know what phone it is, because he doesn't mention it, and it looks like it could be a Pixel or an iPhone. I don't know if that's a cutout for the Apple logo or for a fingerprint sensor. And moving on, Corey says, I found your channel while surfing YouTube one day and didn't realize I was an EDC guy until I watched a few vids. I love it. I'm part of a Facebook group called the DTB, Dark Timber Brotherhood. Also, everything in this carry is made or recommended by someone in the DTB. The Field Notes Notebook was made by a good friend and fellow Army vet, Aaron Cybrant at NC Custom Leather, probably slaughtering that name as well. The DTK logo stands for Dark Timber Knives, made by Peter Kohler. The Skinner is a custom collaboration blade done by Peter Kohler and Jason Knight. The Skinner sheath was done by another good friend, Sergio Ortiz. This particular Ziba S5 is a collaboration between Michael Ziba and Jason Knight, done for Wilson Combat. It's an M390 steel with titanium handles and is lighter than it looks. This is my first Invicta watch. It's heavy, really heavy but I thought I'd give them a chance and see for myself. I'm trying to upgrade different pieces as I go, and this is where I'm at so far. I think I'll grab a nice pin next. Thanks for the channel, and I'm loving the Discord chat. Well, I'm glad somebody is, because it's been a cluster lately. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. We have a lot of fun in the Discord. Um, don't mean to discourage anybody. If you come into the Discord and you see chaos going on in the EDC chat, because there are a ton of different channels that I've, I've created recently, if you see chaos, going on in there, don't be afraid to just dive in head first. We're all nice people, most of us. We're, we're mostly nice people. Anyway, thank you for this beautiful carry. Um, it's nice to see a fixed blade in an ADC. We don't see that very often. We especially don't see custom fixed blades. Like if I were to carry a fixed blade in my EDC, I wouldn't go with uh, an Azula or or uh, my Rat 3. I would probably get a Winkler knife. Winkler knives is very close to here and uh, he does amazing work. So I would probably go with Winkler, but it is really cool to see this particular carry. It's not, none of this other than the Streamlight and the Zippo are things we typically see in a submission. So it's good to be drawing people in who are different and outside the uh, Rove Yvonne and Popov and Hitch and Timber crowd. Like I love those guys. I love their, their creations and all the stuff they do, but it's also nice to see different gear because that's the whole point of the show. It's a discovery platform. It's to see what other people carry and find gear you didn't know existed. So this is exactly what the show is about. So thank you for joining. Thank you for submitting. Thank you for being part of the Discord. And you now have a second entry into the February giveaway. Okay. This next submission, the fifth and final submission this week, comes from a controversial figure in the Discord. <laughs> You'll understand if you ever join. Puff is a long-standing member of the Discord. He always has fantastic knives and gear and stuff that makes every other person jealous because that's just Puff. He's actually the person that I purchased this knife from, the proper clip point. Purchased this from Puff. Uh, quick shipping and all the, the good jazz that comes with buying a knife online from some stranger. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about Puff's EDC. Find him over on the website at Puff. I think it's just Puff. First up, there is the Pop of Leather Field Notes cover which he also uses as his wallet, it seems. And he carries a Blackwing clutch pocket notebook inside that. The watch pictured here is the Citizen EcoDrive ProMaster Diver. Attached to the watch is the Crown & Buckle HD Tan NATO. I don't know, Puff kind of looks like a Zulu band to me. The knife pictured here is the Benchmade Anthem, which is gorgeous. And below that is the Urban Survival Gear TI Scribe Bolt in Copper. Looks like it's got a titanium clip on that. And the bottom thing in the photo is the Olight i3T EOS in copper, once again. Very simple, compact, concise, and just 
Throw in haymakers, Puff. He said, not pictured is my phone. It's an iPhone 6S in a metal PT brand case. I'm a college culinary student, but unlike most campuses, mine obviously doesn't care that I carry a knife. Also a collector of knives, cool objects in general. I still use every part of my everyday carry, writing down recipes I think of, cutting, opening boxes, uh, seeing in dark places, etc. If I really wanted to stretch this, I could have included my kitchen knives I use every day. To start, the Field Notes cover is something I didn't realize I needed until I saw it on Pop-Pop's website. I've been carrying these pocket notebooks since my first year of high school, whether it's genuine Field Notes or my preferred Blackwing clutch, and they always get worn and shredded to hell before the end of their writing lifespan. This doubles as a wallet, thus my EDC not including one. My cards are all out of the picture and I put a gift card for a local pizza place in one of the slots to demonstrate what it is. I think we can see what card pockets are, Puff. The watch was a gift from my dad who got it for me after I broke my old Casio digital watch during a trip to Alaska. I use the bezel to time things pretty much every day, especially useful in the kitchen. The band from Crown and Buckle is by far the best NATO. I've had on a watch. The buckles and rings feel really sturdy and the strap itself is comfortable. My Benchmade Anthem is currently my favorite knife by a long shot and given the other knives in my collection that's a very notable feat. For a long time the BM940-2 was my favorite knife and the Anthem feels like the perfected form of the 940 in many ways. A carry slim has a much better blade than the 940 in every way. The best action I've ever felt not on just a Benchmade but all thumb stud whole knives I've ever owned. I also got it during a trip to San Antonio in January this year where I got to meet a lot of my friends from my competitive gaming years. It has a lot of sentimental value to me so it will most likely be in my permanent collection. The TI Scribe Bolt is a fantastic pin with a satisfying heft. It fits perfectly in the normal size pin loops on the Pop-Off Field Notes cover so it's easy for me to carry despite the weight. I have a Schmidt 5888 roller bar refill in it and it writes like a dream. Love me some copper. 90% of the submissions you could probably get have this light in it, but I'll just reiterate that it is fantastic for EDC. It's bright enough for many uses and has a very good battery life. Again, I like copper stuff. Thanks for having this show and community. I really enjoy being in the Discord, talking to everyone, even though y'all hate my profile pictures and how much I say, ooh, woo. You got me. You got me. Shout out to the fact that I'm still trying to sell my Millet Max Evolution. Smiley face. You ruined my day. You made me say it. Really, all I have to say, this is beautiful. There's not much that can be said. It's all, every single bit of this is quality gear. Every piece. I would like to try a TI Scribe Bolt, and I, I probably should, because I've, really the only pins I have right now are, are big idea design pins, I think, and a Fisher Space pin. Um, so I need to expand my horizons when it comes to pins, but this knife, man, it is. It is very much like, it, it's like a 943 with a better blade shape, much better blade shape, just a beefier blade in general, um, slightly larger handles, and titanium handles at that. And this is also just a great picture, but anyway, thank you for sharing Puff, thanks for being part of the Discord, and you now have a second entry into the February giveaway. And now it is time to tell you how you can win the KeySmart Rugged in Mossy Oak. You know that little pocket on your pants, right, right on the right side above your normal pocket, the, the fifth pocket, the coin pocket. Some people, some weird people call it the watch pocket. It's not a watch pocket anymore because I would go as far to say 99.9% .9 of people don't put their watch in there. Nobody carries a pocket watch anymore, or if you do, you know, good on you, I'm not shaming, you do you, but also you're in the severe minority and you gotta realize that. So that pocket is no longer a watch pocket. In fact, when that pocket was designed for watches, it was bigger than it currently is. So that just goes to show it is no longer a watch pocket. So the question is, two-parters in order to win the key smart, two-parters, what do you carry in your fifth pocket and not what do you call it but what should we call it moving forward best answer wins have at it and it's not a watch pocket fight me yeah i'm proud of that <laughs> that's gonna do it for this video if you found it helpful and you enjoyed it be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and of course if you have not submitted your edc go to edcw.co submit your edc and you're entered to win that is a hitch and timber card caddy a big idea design tpt a key smart rugged 
a Roe Vivon Aurora flashlight, a Griffin pocket tool, and a Yellow Birch Outfitters pocket organizer. That's six things up for grabs for one winner every single month. And all you have to do is go to adcw.co and submit your EDC. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do that and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you want to support the show, anything you saw in this video at all is linked down below. If you hit those links and buy anything, those links help support the show. If you purchase anything, we get a little bit of a kickback, doesn't cost you anything extra. And if you wanna help the show, additionally, you can go to patreon.com forward slash bestdamnedc. You can find us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestdamnedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on. Whew, I feel like that was a little fast. That was extra fast. Ooh.